Hello, <coughs> good morning. I hope this video comes out nice and clear. Uh, I'm sorry, the memory in my uh, camera is too small, so I'm taking this with my mobile phone. Now, this is uh, one of my projects on a Toyota Corolla. It's about a 1999 model, uh, 2 litre diesel, uh, non turbo, 2 litre diesel. As you can see under the hood, there isn't much room actually to put any. Uh, bottles at all. Not even a mason jar wouldn't fit anywhere in here. Uh, I tried to fit them here in front by the front grille, um, but unfortunately there's the, 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 the fans are there, so there's no room at all anywhere in the roof, uh, anywhere in the, in, the, in the bonnet. So what I decided, I decided to put it under the in, in, inside the boot. Uh, I've got two bottles running in the boot which I'm just going to show you now. Now, the thing that I may need some help here, actually, is here you can see, this is the, the diesel pump, and uh, this is the inlet manifold, and the air, air, uh, air filter hose. And uh, now there's another, this hose going somewhere, I don't know what that is. Um, actually, I'm a medical doctor, not a mechanic, so you have to excuse me. And, now here, we go back here, uh, here, this, this is the air filter. Now what I've done in the past is I put a T connector here on this hose because the hose is not going in. I put the bottle in, but it didn't work at all. It didn't get any mileage gain and the bottle heated up like anything. So what I've done now is I made a hole much, much closer to the air filter and I put a HHO in there. And then what I done here is, still, when I made that hole in there, it's blowing out for some reason. It's not sucking in at all. It's blowing out. Well, God knows why. But maybe uh, somebody could uh, help me on that. Now, this is the air filter. Inside is the, the, the air filter. Now, the air filter have uh, a, a, an inlet, which is sort of goes from there, back to the battery, right to here. I hope you can see it. There. There. Now if I put my hand on there, there's a really good suction on there. No problem at all. So that means it is sucking from here, okay. I'm just going to try with my handkerchief. Uh, you'll see it suck in. Yeah. You see sucking in? Right. So there's plenty of suction there, okay. But I just want to show you something which I need some help with. Now this is my HHO going there. Now here, instead of sucking, for some reason it's blowing out. Uh, you can see my handkerchief, rather than being sucked in, it's blowing out. Now I don't know why it's blowing out. But uh, I put it in there. And uh, the car seems to be pulling over. I haven't checked the mileage game yet. But I'll, I'll, I'll be taking a drive out uh, on my regular tour. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to just show you how much bubbles I have. There, it's, it's bubbling away, as you can see. Quite a, quite a bit of bubbles, with two bottles running in parallel. I don't like them running in parallel, but I tried running in series, but the bubble went half the amount. So I don't know, maybe I need to put more baking soda or something. And that thing, every so often you see a force of bubble coming out there. It's not sort of continuous, so I don't know what the cause is that. That's the beautiful HHO in there. Uh, now, if you, if, you, if, you, if you like that, those bubbles are fire, and they will light. But I wouldn't advise you. I mean, it is very, very, very dangerous. If you put a live match in front of here, bang, it goes. Your bubbler will, uh, your, uh, bubbler will blow up, or your HHO electrolyzer will blow up. But I've got a safety valve on that, which I'm going to show you. So let me put that back in here. There she goes. Uh, it doesn't make any difference to the engine according to uh, water for gas. It says in a minute or so your engine should change sound. 
It doesn't make any difference at all with this one. I'm making it because the sleeves are large enough. Okay, the, the way I've got it wired up is I've, I've, I've got a, a, a normal relay. And any relay will do. Uh, uh, this is a relay off a home. I've got these wires that are boiling hot. So I better do something with that. And this is about 25 amp wire going through the bubbler at, uh, to the electrolyzer at the back. There, there's a, I've got a 25 amp fuse in there, uh, which hasn't blown on anything, so it's going strong enough. And then I picked up a live for the relay from my wiper motor. So it only comes on when the engine is running, or rather when the ignition is on. Uh, let's go back to uh, show you the bottles, where the bottles are. So you have to excuse me, I want to open the thing. Okay, we're back now. We're in, in the boot of my Toyota Corolla. And there you can see I stopped to... These are, are water filter bottles. The reason I use them, they're very easy to connect and no leakage. And they're airtight. And you get a good amount of water in them. Uh, maybe not good for where you are unless you want to stick them in the boot. I mean, there isn't much room in the, in the, in, under the bonnet. But I've stuck one in a smaller car, much smaller car than this, and you can load the room in the, under the bonnet. So I stuck one in there, which I'll be showing in my next video. Now here, one of the bottles is a little bit smaller uh, than the other one. And what I've done is I use a normal tap water. But the water here we get in uh, uh, is, is, is underground water. So... I, I think it should be no problem um, because there's no contamination, there's no chlorine or anything like that in there. Just pure water uh, from under the ground. And this one, the smaller bottle, as you can see, is bubbling away much more than the other ones. Uh, this one is nice and cool. Uh, it's still a lot of, lot of gas on the top, as you can see. And I've joined both of them with the T up there and uh, then the, this is going through my engine and the, another beauty I got here is this little thing here it's a one-way valve very cheap just under a dollar it cost me and what happens is because I had one of these uh, electrolyzer blew up on me uh, so now uh, if, if there is any backfire or anything it will not go past that I'm going to try and stick that closer to the engine rather than closer to the bottle here. But because I had to take this, this uh, smaller pipe all the way to the engine, uh, I didn't want to get a bigger pipe like this, like this from uh, running under the seat. So uh, I've done a smaller pipe. But it's, with a the diesel, there is no need for it. But uh, just to be safe side, might as well put one on here. The, the, the filter, as you can see, I've blocked both ends. And this one, because it ran out, run out of water very quickly, uh, because there's too much uh, powder in there. I'm sorry to say, but I, I put three tablespoonful, that means six teaspoons in each. This is far, far too much. Uh, the reason I put that in, actually, I was going to run a series, which I'm going to change now soon. Uh, we we're giving six volt each, because on 12 volt, all oh, it's making a lot of gas. But uh, it is the wire warming up, and uh, it's likely to blow the fuse uh, sooner than later. So I blocked the ends up, and I was saying this ran out of water. So all I did was unblock that and put a hose in there and put a put more water in there. So it's quite easy enough to fill. Um, I was going to put a, some kind of a tap on there, but uh, for now, uh, I think if I if I run it on six volt, three four months, there's no need to fill the water up. So I hope somebody can put some light on there for me, please. Uh, when I run this on 6 volt in series, the gas production goes less. What do I need to do? Do I need to add more, uh, more, 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 more powder in there? Or, uh, or uh, do I need to do something else? Now, the, this is a, a, a nine plate design, and this is also a nine plate design. Uh, which I made myself, which in one of the other videos I can show you how. Um, by all means, send me an email, I, I, I could also send you that as well. So, this is new technology, uh, everybody helps everybody, 
and hopefully one day all vehicles will be running on water. Thank you for watching my video. Please do help me. Bye.